Okay, I wanted to go ahead and make a quick video um, concerning the update on my waist training. So the thing about it is I just I went on and ran up the hill and I decided that running up the hill, considering this an exercise, that I was going to try out the other waist trainer that I had not worn at all because I had only been using the one waist trainer. Now this waist trainer is made for exercising. So the, then I just, um, when it's, it's made of latex, so it's a whole different material for the most part, like the whole waist trainer is mainly latex, different from the other uh, waist trainer, which is more like the, um, the, the cloth material, but this feels like rubber. So one thing I can say is when I first put it on or was about to put it on, the thing is I, it was, it was kind of like, I didn't know if I was going to be able to get it on, but it wasn't a huge problem at all. Um, so with that being said, I was very satisfied with using this waist trainer, um, for the first time, like I said, running up the hill, um, I'm going to have to work on that. Um, <laughs> but anyway, the thing about it is it, it's very comfortable. It was, it was very tight. The, before I ran up the hill, I had to make a run. So that being said, it was snug, but it was not uncomfortable. So I can say that I'm going to be satisfied with this one also. And I was glad to go ahead and uh, put it to use for the first time. And like I said, it seemed like it was super tight. And I, at first I thought this is a different type of waist trainer. So, but it's very easy. I had to work with it, but it got done. So the thing about it is, once again, this waist trainer um, just about the same as the other one. It's not uncomfortable. After a while, you don't even realize that you have to keep reminding yourself that you even have it on. So, you know, that's a good thing. The other thing that I want to bring up while, while on this video, I'm just so glad that I went on to get the quality waist trainers instead of just getting something that I probably would have gotten maybe at a department store that really is not a true waist trainer. So I'm just so glad that I went on and motivated myself to actually make this purchase. And I went on and got one of the purchases where you have the two waist trainers, because that's what I'm saying. This one is specifically for exercise and working out in, and it is a different makeup different texture and like I said it's it's more it's more um it ha it has a tightness to it uh it's it's not as movable as the other one is but it's still not uncomfortable I mean I, I can't help but stress that because the other things that I would consider that I considered waist trainers which I don't really think that they're actually waist trainers um I can't I just want to say a, a, a waist, a waist, a belt or whatever you want to call it, but, and act, actually calling what, and I'm going to have to make a video of it, actually calling some of the things that I've used and I've had about two or three of them that they're, I don't, I don't consider them actually waist trainers. So it is a bit of a difference and they were, I, and they're not nowhere near as quality of a material as these that I've been using, but they hurt. And that's why I'm amazed that I'm not dealing with any um, discomfort, pain, cuts in the skin or abrasions in the skin because the other ones, they're, they're more on the flimsy side, but at the same time, they did cause, they did have issues with wearing them. And that, that was the discouragement of not really using them. So that with that within itself, just to just to take the time to go ahead 
and actually get a waist trainer um, that that's very, very high quality. And I will stay, and this is Squeeze Me um, Skinny. And I will, in the future, probably stay with this company. I mean, I might switch up here and there or whatnot, but I got to admit, this is high, uh, real high quality to me. And it's there, as far as what I'm concerned, um, paying attention to the literature on it, it's, it's handmade. So with that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this. But like I said, I will be having more content. I'm about to take this waist trainer off, and that's why I need you to go ahead and make this video. All right. Okay, I went on and took it off. I had just put it on pause so I can come back. I'm glad I did that. I can come back and, for one, show you, like I said, I don't have any major issues with the um, tightness of the actual waist trainer. And while I was playing around with it, I went on and, because when I first put it, tried to put it on, like I said, this was a new one as far as me. I've never used this one. But I ended up going from the first set of hooks and I went on and went to the second uh, set of hooks. So already since I've had it on, I'm able to go to the second set of hooks. And like I said, um, I can fluctuate between the first two set of hooks for right now. If I want it extra tight or if I just want to say, oh, for a couple of hours, I'm going to do the second hook. Or if I'm going to exercise quick, quickly or not, you know, be exercising for a long period of time, I might do the um, the second set of hooks. But for the most part, if I'm wearing it for a long period of time, which I have been, I'll do the first set. And if I said the first set over here, I meant the second set and then the first set right here. So I kind of been switching up and I'm one of those type of people that when I do things and plan things out, I kind of, you know, switch around and, and realize what's the best fit for whatever time frame or whatnot. But yeah. And I can see myself, it, it, you could feel a difference in the second set of hooks, but it's, it, it's not super uncomfortable where I wouldn't be able to sustain it, wearing it for a certain amount of time. But like I said, you don't see any cuts, bruises, whatnot. So like I said, this has been, both of these waist trainers that I've been dealing with have been very comfortable and not causing issues with um, the actual skin. And that's a, that's a good thing because like I said, something that I've been experiencing in the past, I mean, it could be terrible and it can take a few days or a long, a time, a long time period for it to heal up. So that's that's a good thing. So that's, that's gonna really draw me in when it comes to this, these type and this brand. And let me go ahead and say that I do have a medium. And like I said, this is the workout one. And it's considered, um, considered black 36. And the other one that I have, it's considered the regular waist trainer, not the workout one. Like I said, this, you can see the shininess of this one. But anyway, I, like I said, I'll be making more. I just wanted to get this in while I had it on. All right. Oh, and another thing real quick. Like I said, um, and, and maybe it'll be in another video, but I'm going to talk about it real quick as far as the staying hydrated. Because I can, I can, I can kind of tell the difference when I'm wearing them. So I'm going to, I've been doing real good on staying hydrated. But I'm going to push it a, a little bit further because I can, you can tell the difference when you have it on. It's like um, you might have to go to the bathroom and then you feel like it's it's just like, okay, I need more fluid in, um, fluid in my body. So stay on top of that. That's, that's very important because as far as I'm concerned, what I've learned is 
when you do wear the um, the waist trainers, they do seem to um, have something to do with your um, hydration. So how somehow it works, it's it's pulling the water off, it's pulling the the fluid off. So all right.